All right, welcome back to Skyping and Sniping here. Uh, this is our third and final video with IPS and iFinity. And on the bottom here, you can see all three IPS monitors uh, with a 178 viewing angle. And then here in the middle here, we have an Acer monitor, which is 1680 by 1050. It is not IPS and it is not full HD. All these monitors are on 100% brightness as well. On the right hand side, this will really show you what IPS does. So it's the same monitor as the one I just showed you in the middle. It is another Acer monitor, with the same resolution, same everything. And you see how washed out it is? That's what IPS does not show you. That is what you do not get. Because that is a that's a bad monitor. Well, I shouldn't say bad monitor, but it's a it's a bad viewing angle. Now on the way left here is a 24 inch, which is from Asus as well, or Asus. And it is not IPS and it is full 1080p. As you can see, there's some washed out up here. But the reason I have it angled downward like this is because I'll be sitting in a chair. Alright, now that I've showed you the difference between IPS and not IPS, I will bring you into the computer and show you how to set up iFinity. So as what you do is you, first of all, you right click on your desktop and you go to the Catalyst controller. And now I'll bring you into the computer. Alright, now that you guys are inside my computer, I want to show you how to create iFinity. As I said before, you're going to open your Catalyst control panel, but I also want you to open up your screen resolution. If it pops up on another box or on another window, you might want to move it to your left one. The way I'm going to be doing it, everything's going to be on my left monitor. Uh, you want to now disconnect any monitor that you don't want to be with iFinity. So right now I want the bottom three to be with iFinity. So I'm going to go to the top three and just disconnect them. Like this. Alright, now that I'm done, you go ahead and hit apply. Uh, your monitors will flash, screens will flash, whatever they'll do is they'll flash. Now you only do that if, is if you have more than three monitors. So I had to do that because I have more than three monitors. Now I want to go and make sure everything is fine. So now the resolutions are fine for these and they're all good to go. All right, now you want to go over to the Catalyst controller, click on iFinity, I'm going to go to, to create then. Now I'm going to pick my way left one. I'd recommend you pick the same one as well. You can pick whichever one you want, but I'm going to go from left, left to right. All right, and it's going to ask you how you want to set up your display. It depends on how you have your stuff. If you got, you know, if you have four monitors on, or however you want it, it sh it sees one of my other monitors. It wants to do four plus one. I don't want that right now. I just want to do three. So we'll do three by one. Hit continue. This is going to ask me what other monitors I want. Sh I want to use. See, right now it's sh it, it sees my big 24 inch. I don't want to use that one. So I'm just going to use the ones that are IPS that I bought. And you just select which ones you want. Screens will flash like this is normal. And then go ahead and hit continue. Everything is flashing. Look, it might might be a little messed up. Let's see uh, how the recording is going right now. All right. So the alignment is a little messed up. And if it happens to you, don't don't be worried. Don't be worried at all. This, this alignment will, will come up over here, and you want to select which one. I don't know if you can see this in the recording, but it's blue, so I want to select the blue one. As you can see, you select the blue, and now on my right monitor, the way right monitor is now blue, so you want to select your right one. So you just click on them. And then you hit done. And now you're good to go. So you can do whatever you want from here. You can go ahead and close this out. You go ahead and close this out as well. And now you can see that I have the mid and the right one all good to go. Now we're going to go back to the left monitor. All right. And as you can see this the the task bar will go all the way all the way to to the whole monitor. So we're going to go to the mid one. See how it's there? And we'll go to the right one. See how it's there? All right, so you know it's working, and now you can go ahead and play any game or pretty much anything you want in iFinity. As you can see here, it's all working perfectly fine. Left monitor, working. Middle one, 
perfect. Right one, good to go as well. If you guys need any help, any questions, anything to deal with uh, monitors, Ifinity, anything like that, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If I don't answer right away, go ahead and send me a message. Anything else, go ahead and send me as well. Alright guys, thanks for watching.